felt your excitement, your enthusiasm, and your fear, and, and ready to burst out. And it was so much fun to, to walk in and feel all this energy. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Rogers, for the opportunity to be here, and for all of you for coming here this weekend. There is a mythical box in this world that defines who we are and what we can become. Would you please shatter that box? There are some lines drawn in the sand and molds that humans sometimes have a habit of falling into. Cross those lines and break those molds. It is even now very common to hear think outside the box. That has become ordinary. Soar above the world of ordinary and out into the elite realm of extraordinary and shatter the bounds. Shatter the bounds of limitation, expectation, dreams, hopes, and plans. You are all extraordinary women. You wouldn't be here if you weren't. I have to take my glasses off. They're new, and I can't read this. <laughs> I'm getting a little older. As one of you said yesterday, when did you graduate? That was before I was born. Thank you. <laughs> traveled by very few others. You chose to leave home, to somehow get to Nevada, Missouri, <laughs> and to take classes at some private two-year liberal arts college for women. Some of you, I know, arrived ready to jump into every leadership role that there was. And some of you wished that that, that, that scholarship would have come through at that other school. <laughs> some of you felt like you were home the second you arrived on campus. Still others, maybe it's just me, arrived on campus for the sole purpose of escaping that boyfriend who was willing to follow me anywhere. <laughs> it's true. He's still living at home. I would imagine that in August of 2008, you had no idea how this journey would change your life. You remember those first days on campus, saying goodbye to your family, fighting back tears, or maybe feeling bad because you weren't sad, you were excited to be here. <laughs> Sorry, moms. <laughs> remember adjusting to that new roommate, your sweet mates, those crazy seniors? We remember. And remember a few weeks into your journey, when you got a little homesick. That was the first, you weren't expecting. In fact, your Kai adventure included many firsts. Your first college test, remember? Your first A, your first C, D, F. I got my first one here. <laughs> Some of you may remember. <laughs> your first speech, your first recital, your first college game, your first art exhibit. The first time you realized you could influence somebody's life in a really positive way. First time you realize how small this world really is. The first leadership position you held. The confidence you felt when you achieved whatever it is you thought you could. While all of those firsts may not seem like much, they have been more important than you will ever know. You see, all of these first experiences are wrapped up all tightly in your soul in a nice little package that's turned into courage. The experiences you've shared with these women have created the foundation that all future learning experiences and leadership will be built. I know that sounds crazy. It's true. You have no idea how strong that foundation is, and you won't until you need to use it. Until everything in your life is questioned and you're forced to go back to that foundation, and you'll find that it was here at Cotty with these women these faculty and staff, at this point in time, that you gained a strength and a confidence that would get you through those hard times. You can ask any graduate, they, they believe that. You are experiencing something today that only 4%, 4% of college female graduates experience. You know what that is? Graduating from a women's college. To stand here and tell you about the leadership training you've received, I was thinking about this yesterday. It's a bit like telling, for me, a fish all about water. 
They don't understand it because it's their world. When I was a student at CAI, I didn't hold one leadership position in any recognized organization anyway. <laughs> after Terry posted that I was speaking that said, it doesn't surprise me, Kay, you were always a leader in our class. So even if you didn't hold a leadership position, you have no idea the leadership capacity and capabilities that you've had here. You're going to find that out next year. Um, you've grown and you've developed like you wouldn't have anywhere else. Somebody told me that yesterday at President's